Medjbar and welcome to Out of the Dark Room on Adorama TV. I'm here in the Grand Palais for Paris Photo 2014 and on today's show we're going to be looking at photo books. The photo book industry is massive these days. It was the one thing that's not really hit by e-readers in the digital era. People still love to look at photo books. Especially here in Paris Photo, where photo books are a really key draw. There's even an award specifically designed for first photo books and as well the photo book of the year. Today I'm going to take you around, we're going to have a look at the key books that feature in this. We're also going to interview some photographers who are signing their photo books for us all. Join me now. Adorama TV presents Out of the Dark Room with Ruth Medjbear. I'm here with Angel Luis Gonzalez Fernandez. Angel runs the library project. Can you maybe tell us a little bit about what that is? Sure. Uh, the library project is a collection of photo books that we started in 2011. Uh, it was uh, on the back of the Photo Island Festival okay. uh, that we uh, did a book and magazine fair, and with all the books that we collected, we uh, built this. Uh, we originated this collection, and over the last three, four years, we have been adding to the collection, and finally, we managed to make it available to the public. Uh, in our space that we also call the library project in Temple Bar, right at, at the heart of Dublin City Centre. Wow, so you, you're surrounded by photo books daily. Um, yes. So what kind of stuff do you have on show? Is it a lot of self-published or big publishing houses? or What do you have there? Well, there's a, there's a mix. Uh, there's everything really. Um, a lot of self-published books. Uh, most of, mostly the fan scenes tend to be self-published, of course. Uh, but there's also loads of books, that, many of them that have received awards as well. How do, you, how do you feel about awards? I mean, do you think it's justified? Do you, do you like seeing them come up through the, through the ranks? I mean... Uh, this is the third year that they do it, and they added this year the uh, catalogue as, oh, okay. as an extra uh, award, the best catalogue of the year for a photographic ex exhibition. We had the, uh, also the best book of the year and the best first book of the year. So for, that's very much for like younger yeah. or just well, yeah, newer photographers newer. that are coming yes. out. So, um, and uh, it's, uh, I mean, it's great because if you can imagine uh, for a person starting, um, yeah. uh, somebody said who is in the first book, coming here, uh, getting the books shortlisted, uh, it's a big push big for their careers, yeah. it's, uh, uh, get exposure. Yeah. And uh, right now here, there's uh, thousands of people coming every day. Uh, they get to see your work, they get to see uh, your practice. Uh, and, I mean, yeah. what better I mean, way to promote your work? Photo books are, are, are a big draw still. It's probably one of the industries that wasn't hit too much by the digital kind of era. Um, do you see it growing or, or how, how do you see that evolving then? Um, over the last maybe four or five years, there was a push towards um, uh, towards the digital. So I mean, perhaps there was an, uh, a push towards uh, the ebook and the, yeah. the, you know, yeah, the iPad yeah, yeah. format. But actually, the, uh, I, I doubt that's going to change much because there is nothing like the book. There's nothing People like a paper. A book, yeah. yeah I, I, I mean, these are art objects. Most of these uh, books, uh, they, 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 all the materials have been chosen very carefully. Yeah. And you know, you cannot do that in an iPad. Uh, the engagement is completely different. Yeah. You can produce something, uh, uh, you know, purposely designed for a, for an iPad and with video content and whatnot. Yeah. It will be probably ama amazing as well, but it's not the same as, yeah. as a photo book. I don't think the book is, is going to go anywhere and proof yeah. of it, not only this award, but all the other awards uh, that are out there for photo books. It's a great time for photo books then, really, if it just keeps yeah. going and going. Angel, thank you so much for joining me today. Pleasure. That's brilliant. We're going to then and have a look at more photographers. This is Ruth Mejber for Adorama TV. Don't forget to check out Adorama's latest contest online for your chance to win some amazing prizes. You'll find every photo book imaginable here at Parry Photo. Pretty much everything that's ever been published, whether it's rare or not, will be here. I've just come across my favorite photo book of all time. It's by a photographer called Sophie Cal, and this is her collection, her whole body of work up until 2003. It's called Matu Vu, and I strongly urge you to go and get your hands on it um, or introduce yourself to Sophie Cal. She's amazing. She has some great stories, and uh, the photography she does is a little bit out there, but it's, it's definitely worth a read. Go and enjoy it like I did. I'm here with Derek Ridges and he's just brought out this amazing photo book, 78 to 87, and he's going to tell us a little bit about it. So um, thanks a million for, for doing this with us. I'm very You're grateful. Welcome. Cheers. Um, how about you tell me, how does a photo book come to be? From its inception to having it here in my hand in Parry Photo, what's the stages? 
Well, it was an idea really by the silversmith and designer, Andrew Bunny. Silversmith? Yeah, he, he was somebody who was a fan of my work. He was a fan of the book that I did in 2004 as well. Ah. And because that was sold out, it was a limited edition, yeah. he wanted to publish the same body of work, or similar body of yeah. work. Wow. So you just kind of rolled with it then, and does he uh, does he have involvement then in the the image selection process that kind Certainly of thing? Certainly did. Yeah, he went. Uh, he found a designer, found a publisher, talked to several publishers, and went and got me a deal. Really, I mean. He was the facilitator for this book, really. He's a good man so, to know. Certainly, he's a good man to know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and listen, thanks so much for showing us through your yeah. photo book. It's been You're a welcome. pleasure. Um, and everyone else, definitely have a look at this. It's got some great characters in it. And I think um, I think it'll be worth seeing it uh, in a gallery show, too, to see, yeah, to see sure. the selected pieces big. Yeah. I mean, yeah. surely it's been designed as a book as well, but um, what do you prefer? Do you prefer seeing your work in a book or, or in a gallery? I've got a huge ego, so I don't really mind where it is. Just as long as it's out there. It's out, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd agree with you. Thanks yeah. so much, Derek. It's okay, a pleasure. You're welcome. Thank Cheers. You. Thanks for joining me today. Tune in again for more from Parry Photo at the Grand Palais. And don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV for more amazing videos. Let us know what you think. Like, comment, and share this video. And remember to visit the Adorama Learning Centre for lots of great tips and tricks. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.